10 items I wish I purchased sooner. I came up with 10 home items that I think are totally worth the money in my opinion that again, I wish I purchased sooner. I do want to follow this up with 10 items I don't buy anymore because I do like saving money as well. But yeah, I wanted to share these with you guys because these are just like my favorite home items that are totally worth the money. Some are more expensive, some are very affordable. So yeah, like always, everything will be linked in the description box below. Um, I'll try to number everything as well so it's easy to find. And let's get started. Number one is buying a good coffee machine. I have an espresso machine that I am in love with. Like, I used to have a Keurig and I can't even tell you spending a little bit more. This one is about, I think it was around 250, which isn't that bad for a coffee machine and good coffee machine. So I will pop on a video of like how this coffee looks and it's like rich Nespresso. I look forward to every morning. I rarely go to Starbucks. Like I really only go to Starbucks like for like a holiday drink, like maybe once in the season. Probably a few times a year I go to Starbucks. So I save so much money and the convenience of having good coffee at home I think is so important. So this is definitely a good investment. And oh, and I recently tried the one up from this. I tried the Latisse, La May or whatever, and I did not like it. <laughs> I was shocked because usually I feel like with those, they're like, if you buy the better one, it's way better. No, it was like watery. It wasn't as rich. Um, it tasted like watered down. I tried different, you know, videos and everything so anyways i ended up keeping the one i have so i will link that one and i just love it number two is a makeup vanity obviously with doing makeup videos but getting into makeup i couldn't have been as as i am into makeup without a vanity now the one i have is obviously like a little bit more i did start off with one just like a very basic desk they have so many cute options i've seen i've seen some cute ones on amazon i will link as well but being able to sit and do your makeup just feels, you know, you can really see what you're doing instead of standing in the bathroom and like looking, I could never go back to that. So like having a little makeup vanity or you can use a desk, but basically sitting down doing your makeup, I think makes the biggest difference. And I think it is so worth the money. Number three is at home gym equipment. So during COVID, I started getting into working out and I was like, okay, I'm really getting on this. And then they closed the gym. So I ended up buying some gym equipment from Amazon. This is like not fancy at all. I'd say it was about two to three hundred dollars each. I have a elliptical, a bike, and a treadmill. I've really been using the treadmill and elliptical a lot. And for me, squeezing in, you know, 20, 30 minutes of a workout before work or if I'm busy during the day. Um, I do find I do it way more having it at home. I don't think you need like three like I have, but having one that you know you can use, I think is just really good to have, especially, you know, with weather too, like it's been raining and I could still work out. So I do think it's worth it. I don't think you need to spend a lot on this. I don't think you need to go like a Peloton route. I get if you like it, but there are some good, decent equipment that is affordable to have at home. Number four is the spray stain remover this is called the miss mouse miss mouse messy eater stain remover so as i knew i was going to do this video i actually got a stain on my leggings that i will pop on and show you like how good this works now it's so annoying when you get a stain you know it's just annoying then you have to wash your shirt or get a new shirt on and this really takes out the stain i've tried the tide stick the tide roll on all of those did not work and I, they did not work for me. I don't know. I've heard people rave about them, but um, this one works really good. You just spray it on and rub it with a towel and it comes right off. It's just so good. And I'll just use like a blow dryer and blow dry it. But yeah, this is so good to have on hand, especially if you have kids. This would be really good to have or even for yourself. Number five is automatic trash cans. I cannot even tell you how good these are. So I have my kitchen one. This is an automatic one. I love, um, you know, just opens automatically. I'm not like constantly having to step on anything. And this also has a filter, which is really nice. So, 
you know, there's no weird smells because it's right next to my dining room table. So normal, my other trash can, you could like smell stuff. This takes away all the smell and you can keep replacing them. So that's a really nice option. Also in my bathroom, you will never go back to a normal trash can once you have these automatic trash cans. These are so nice. Um, I, again, not stepping on it, having to, you know, when you're doing all your skincare, all of that, constantly having to open a trash can. So yeah, these are just a total game changer and I just love them. Could never go back to a normal trash can. Number six is a Dyson vacuum. I, I just got a new one. I had one before for about, gosh, like seven years. It could have even gone eight years, but I think this is so worth it. It works on all floors. It picks up everything, okay? And I know they have some like wannabe dupe ones on Amazon. And a lot of times I'm down for those, but I, my mom bought one and it is like not as good. And I actually sent it to her because I won't say who it was, but another YouTuber recommended it. And I was like, oh, she really recommended this one. It's a lot cheaper. It is not even close. It was heavy. It's loud. It dies quick. Like I'm telling you, it's just so worth the money. I will link the exact one I have. I think it's the V10, but yeah, I love this. I use it in my car. It cleans all the floors. I try to do it at least once a week, try for like twice. And it just cleans everything. There is no vacuum like that. I'm sorry. It's just so good and worth the splurge. Number seven is a cordless mop following up with the Dyson. I don't know. I feel like a lot of people don't know about this. They still have a cord, a cord mop, but a cordless mop is a total game changer. The one I have is actually like sold out or whatever, but I will link an exact. They have lots of ones that are very similar. And this is such a good mop. First off, it, it stands on its own. It does like all the annoying things that um, you know, you don't have to replug it in every corner that you're at and also it has a light, which is nice. It just has like everything and it's not as expensive as the Dyson. So everything you want in a mop and all those little annoying things that happen. So yeah, I definitely recommend trying out a cordless mop. You will never go back to a cord one. Number eight is a meat thermometer. I can't even tell you with cooking how much time this saves and not guessing if something's ready. So I check everything now. I check my chicken, I check my beef, everything. So this is such a good thing to have on hand. I don't even know how I didn't have one before because I use mine all the time. Um, I do the home chef and I love to check, you know, if it's ready and I don't have to keep putting it in or cutting it. So definitely a meat thermometer is a must have. Number nine is this phone cleaner spray. This is called the Click Clean Screen Cleaner and it has this microfiber cleaner. I cannot even tell you. They say your phone is as dirty as a toilet seat. So I try to clean mine every day, sometimes even twice a day. We're on our phones so much, they get so dirty. This really doesn't take much time, but it really cleans your phone, especially with that microfiber cloth. It just makes it like, flawless. There's no marks on it. I cannot go back to like an alcohol swab or like a wipe. I cannot go back to that. You have to try this. I have it like one in my car, one in my work bag, everywhere, travel bag, everything. I'm so obsessed with this click clean cleaner for your phone. Trust me, it's just a must have. And number 10 is an air fryer. I love my air fryer. I have this Kasori one. I got this one about a year ago. Um, I know they did just have a recall. This one is not on recall. I did check it, but I love an air fryer. It makes your food taste so much better. Just reheating, even like frozen fruit food, I feel like just tastes crispy. It tastes so yummy. And I have a toaster air fryer oven and then a regular air fryer. And again, I think this is so fun to just try fun little recipes. I recently did air fried donuts. Check those out. They're so good with just like the crescent rolls. Oh, so yummy. Uh, so yeah, you can do a lot of things, but even just reheating food, I think you will use this way more than you think. And it won't be a kitchen appliance that's just going to sit in your garage that you never use. So definitely recommend if you haven't tried one, an air fryer is just so good. So that does it for 10 items I wish I purchased sooner, 10 of my favorite home items. Again, everything will be linked below. And if you guys enjoyed this, please give me a thumbs up. 
And if you're new here, I hope you subscribe and I will see you guys soon in my next video. Bye.